here we are today with what I think is uh, is pretty stunning. It may be normal, and uh, I must say thanks to Zooty actually for uh, alerting me to a couple of things I had no idea about uh, to do with SSG circuits. But uh, this now is IRF 630 connected to that coil there. I'm not quite sure where it came from, a uh, floppy drive or something, and. Uh, of course no core in it and sideways and it's running the rotor there and it's actually running at 3 volts um, now I'm wondering whether AC ripples have a part in this uh, at the moment I've got you can see there on the supply um, I've got a full wave bridge rectifier and a small capacitor I'm going to change the capacitor to be larger to make sure it's all smoothed out uh, but I will be trying a battery on this because I can't really think how this transistor, well, this MOSFET is now switching. Um, it is rather difficult to start. You know, there's not a chance I wouldn't think at three volts here. If I bump the voltage up, it has much better of a chance. So if I just run it to about whatever that is, nine volts there, and try and start it now. Hopefully it will. See, it's, it's just—it's not very reliable at all. It just kind of proves something, I guess, of uh, how little is needed to uh, to run the pulse motor. Right there we are. It's running. And now from here, you might be able to hear the clicks as well. I'll be able to turn the voltage down. So there's one click down. That's the 7.5. Another click down. That's the 6 volts. I have to give it a little while too, I've noticed. Another click down to 4.5. And it stopped at that point. So as you can see, it gets a bit fickle. But anyway, that's a strange enough coil to be running. Okay, thanks for watching.